Hey guys, what's up? Shin055, back with another How to Draw video. It is the weekend, it is time to upload, make and upload another one. So, um, yeah, this video, as you can tell from the title and the picture right here, it's on uh, Flame Sonic, which, to be honest with you, I've never heard of Flame Sonic before. I'm usually caught up on, like, my Sonic fan lore stuff, like Sonic.exe, uh, Dark Super Sonic, like that sort of things. Never heard of uh, Flame Sonic, though. So, um, so I googled it, and it was pretty much just a, a red Sonic, so... Um, I decided to take a little bit of creative liberties, um, as you can tell, there's a lot more fire on Sonic, where his shoe cuffs are, and, like, um, glove, like, cuffs, um, and I put a little, a little Charmander tail on him, uh, yeah, and like any good Sonic super form, he doesn't have pupils, uh, just like Dark Super Sonic, so yeah, I took a little bit of creative liberties with this one, again, it was just some red Sonic, and since I don't color these pictures in, it would just be like me drawing Sonic again. So, um, yeah. But anyway, uh, this video was brought to you by, or was requested by Flame Core Sonic. Uh, thank you very much for your request. And here it is. And let's start drawing. And I'm going to draw it um, on portrait. I had another idea for this uh, drawing, but it was supposed to be in landscape. But then when I started drawing, I was like, eh, it could be in portrait. So we're going to draw normal portrait size. So, yeah, okay, anyway, guys, uh, let's begin. So get your pencils ready. Okay, guys, um, for this, for, well, to start, uh, we're going to draw um, a nice big circle for Sonic's head. Um, it would help if I could actually draw a circle today. So nice, we're going to just rough it in, nice circle like that and then his body he's kinda like standing up straight with his like kinda chest puffed out so his body would curve around like that a little bit and then just go straight into his feet um and then like for the gesture for his um like his chest it's kinda gonna go like above it's gonna overlap the circle a little bit and then just go down like that, and then it'll be kind of like this bean type shape. Kind of like that. Um, this, his arm will be here, it'll go out like this, and then um, he's like kind of like snapping his fingers or pointing like a gun type. Um, like he has like his fingers and his guns, but it's like directly at us. So that will cover a lot of the picture. So you could kind of just, and then just get an idea. Like this is where his hand is going to be, like pointing directly at us. And then you draw two lines for the legs down here. And again, we're just roughing stuff in, so you don't have to be exact. We're just putting stuff down on the paper, just so we get a somewhat of an idea of where everything goes and how big everything should be. So, honestly, that's good enough for a gesture right now. Um, now we're going to just jump into Sonic's face. Um, you can do the crosshairs if you want. Um, it'll be something like this. But, um, and again, very similar to drawing Sonic's head, which I'm assuming you guys have already seen how to draw, like, Sonic and... Shadow and all my other how to draw videos and if you haven't please go watch them because I go a little bit more in detail about Sonic's head In fact, I have a whole video on how to draw just Sonic's head. I believe that was like my first one But um, yeah, you start off with like the C shape and then you curve it up down um, His eyes are gonna be a little bit more um Like triangle or like cur edged angular at the top instead of the big rounded because uh, I guess he's a little angry, a little, little bit more angry and hostile and I guess his super form. I don't even know if this is a super form. And you could draw the nose. It's a little big. There we go. And then the muzzle goes down and around. Um, 
Yeah, this is about good. Like that. Actually, I could zoom in a little bit. That would help. And then just follow the line. So yeah, sorry I'm not going like too detailed into like the the face, but again, it's very similar like all my other how to draw videos. There's nothing really special about this one. It's basically just drawing Sonic again. So after you do that, you can um, start off around here, and now we're gonna curve it into the three spikes on his head, like that. I'll stop about here. Curve it in. Another one over here. Curve it around. And another one here. Like that. And you could do the two in the middle in between spikes just to show he has other spikes behind. Like that. And then you could draw just a big triangle for his ear over here. And then another triangle, but this time um, kind of connect it. And then a line from this angle, and just draw a curve line going across. Uh, same thing here. Uh, this one I kind of curve it around a little bit. Oh, my phone's going off. Actually, I will probably have to answer that. So, a uh, quick jump cut. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I just had to take that phone call real quick. Um, yeah, sorry. I normally don't do that, but I was waiting for it. So, sorry, again. But anyway, uh, let's dive right back into where we left off. Um, we just finished off Sonic's head, which is right there. And again, we're not going to draw on pupils, uh, mainly because I guess it's Flame Sonic's like a super form. So, uh, I, we're not going to draw it in. <laughs> it's not a part of the picture. We're not going to draw it. But uh, now we're going to move on to his hand that's pointed like just towards us. So I'm going to zoom in a bit more so we can get a lot more detail in here. So um, this is actually really tricky um, just because of the perspective of the hand. So what I like to do is I'm going to draw two cir big circles right here and here. These will be the two fingers together. And then kind of like a line here just to show and then another one here like that and then the thumb will be like kind of its own thing like this big oval that's over here and then it'll go up and then after you get like kind of that shape down actually we could erase a lot of what's inside here to clear up any confusion so after you get this shape down I kinda of, off the oval you made which kinda of gonna go up and around like this and then the thumb and the thumb's pretty big so look something like this and then curve in I draw a little like curve line here just show like the crease of the thumb and then this finger it's gonna start about here just kinda curve in and kinda immediately you kinda get like this C type um, shape, kind of like this really curved line, almost like a half circle. And then you're going to go make a straight line here, and around here we're going to make the knuckle, and it's going to kind of go into the thumb. And again, it's kind of like forced perspective, so then you could just do another small C shape about here. So again, it's very like forced, so it might take a little bit of doing to get it to look right. But, um, again, practice makes perfect, so just keep at it. And again, very similar to here. Uh, we'll curve it in here, and then another little curve there. And then these fingers are a lot easier. You basically just go down, off this, and then curve it in. Like that. And then curve it around. And then just do a kind of curvy line like this and then this finger you just kind of do the first part like that and there you go that's that's pretty much the hand you could do oh, no it's curved the wrong way so again the thumb 
will take a big priority of it and then you just do like little curves for the palm. And it should look something like that. Again, it might take a lot of doing to actually make it look right. Because again, it's kind of like an awkward angle to put the hand at. But, um, because of like all the force perspective and force shortening and all that crazy stuff. But again, uh, the more practice you do, the easier it should be. And then after that, we could kind of draw like, um, I drew like flames on the tip of his fingers. Uh, very similar to, if you're familiar with One Piece, like Fire Fist ace from um one piece he has like a firepower so one of the things he does is light the two makes like a gun and puts his the fingertips on fire so i decided to do that here and again you just draw fire and how to do that is you just kind of draw like these big sharp kind of loose um curvy spikes that go up and down and all around like that and then some here, and then another one over here. Because again, like like fire is not like a solid; it's like in between, like a solid and a gas. So um, it's not; ha it doesn't have like a distinct shape. So again, it just kind of goes all over the place, kind of spiky. But keep it keep it like curved, so it kind of looks like a gas too. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the hand. And honestly, most of the picture is already done. Um, here we're actually going to shorten the body a little bit, um, just because this goes over the mouth a little bit too much. And we'll make it around here, and then curve it down. And then his stomach can be about here. Again, it's just a little curve line, nothing too complicated. And since we got all that information in, now we can do... Um, Kind of a smile, which I just do a straight line and then a curve line like this with a little gap in the middle. Oh, and you could also uh, shade in the nose. I've got to do that. If you like. It, it makes the picture look a little bit more finished by the time you're done. Okay. And now, um, for his back to like this leg, it actually curves in a lot and then curves down like that. So again, it's like you can tell like his chest is being, is out more. Um, it's just a little bit too round over there. There we go. And then for his little tail, it's just a little spike that comes out. And again, I kind of made it like Charmander almost where, um, I just put a little flame on the tip of it. Nice little cute flame. And now we can finish off his other arm, which his other arm's pretty easy. Um, again, I drew this hand, this type of hand, um, a while ago in like other how to draw videos, so I might explain it a little bit better there. But uh, basically what we're gonna do is just draw the gesture for the arm. That's far enough out. So to do this hand, you're gonna start with a curve line like this and then um, you're gonna curve it in a little bit and then way out like this and this is gonna be the thumb and then you're just gonna curve it back around and in so again it's hard to explain in words but like if you just follow like what I'm drawing out so it just curves in out and then goes out, a little bit in. And then this is going to go straight like this. And then kind of curve it up. And then it just kind of goes straight into the end of this shape. And then his other fingers kind of go off about here. Curve around, uh, same thing here, and again the fingers like gradually get shorter and shorter, so, and the pinky would be the shortest. Like that. Again, it's hard to explain in words, but it's just, if you kind of follow the shape that I made, and just kind of get like the sense of volume it should be, uh, it's, it's not that bad. 
again, it takes practice. Hands are definitely very complicated to draw. So the more you draw them, the better you get. So again, it might take a few tries to get it right, but um, keep at it. I'm sure you, you can get it. And then for his like glove cuff, instead of making the little cuff where it'd be like check mark and then check mark like that, I do um I just put it on fire because again you gotta show off the little flame motif he's got going on. So again, very similar to how we did the other or exactly the same as how we did the other fire. And then do little like flame sparks coming off like that. And then just two straight lines going down for his arm. I put like, like a little fireball in his hand, so you can just draw a nice circle like that, and then just draw some uh, flames coming off of it, you know? Because I would assume Flame Sonic could throw a fireball. I'm I'm willing to put a place a bet on that. And again, just keep doing like these jaggy, loose, like flame type shapes for the flames. And again, little sparks here and there. Like that. And now, just to do his feet, and honestly, I'm going to do his feet a little bit differently um, than I had in the original picture, because I noticed like the feet just seem really off. Um, so what we're going to do is do a curve line here, another curve line at the end of the two legs. And then we're going to do the normal, typical check mark type cuff for his shoe. Uh, same thing over here, check, go up and around, check mark, like that. And now I'm going to make this foot go this way. And again, I just kept his shoes normal. I didn't give him like any flame shoe or something. Because I don't think he has flame shoes. I don't know. Again, not quite too sure on this character. So again, you just go around. Kind of make like this. Um, I don't even know what this shape is. Kind of like a wedge type shape. And then the little two parallel lines that go across for the little strap. And then you just kind of follow the shape you made down here for the sole of the shoe. And then this foot will be head on. So it'll just kind of come towards us like this. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Losing my voice a little bit. So it'll just come towards us like this. And then little straps right here, and then around here would be the sole. And just to finish it off, I put like the top of the little cuffs on fire. So starting off about here, you could just again draw little jagged fire shapes. And then you could erase. Um, Like the cuff of the shoe. I don't know, it just kind of makes it look. Again, Flame Sonic, he's probably on fire. And probably can throw fireballs. Um, I'm just assuming. And you can just erase kind of the cuff line. Again, just put little sparks. Little, little flame. Little flames that jump off the main flame. And there you go. That's how you draw what I'm assuming is Flame Sonic. <laughs> Again, when I googled it, it was just a bunch of, um, just a bunch of red Sonics. So, again, I had to change it up a little bit for the how to draw video. So, uh, here's my rendition of Flame Sonic. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you again, um, Flame Core Sonic for your request. Uh, this was quite an interesting one. Again, not very familiar with the character, but... Again, I think it came out all right. Um, I, I do like the hand in that perspective. But other than that, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you can now draw a Flame Sonic or uh, know how to practice Flame Sonic at least. And, oh, 
here's what a more finished drawing should look like. Um, try and get them. Oh, I'm zoomed in. Uh, there we go. That's kind of what a more finished drawing would look like compared to the other one. So, um, yeah. Okay, right, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you can now draw Flame Sonic. And um, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns on this video, please feel free to um, leave them in the comment section below. I will hopefully be able to answer them via a comment through words instead of just showing you how to draw it on paper. Um, if you have any requests, again, feel free to leave them in the comment section below as well. Uh, follow me on DeviantArt, like, favorite, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. DeviantArt link, I will remember this time to put it in the description below. And, um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next week for another How to Draw. Alright, guys, see you later. Bye-bye.